Alex, you weren't there last night when the conductor walked down to the podium and Jim yelled, Down in front! <laughs> Stop laughing at me, both of you. This is a problem and you're not helping. Uh, okay, okay. We know Mary Lou Henner for her very funny role as Elaine Nardo on Taxi, but it's a different, more serious role that has the most meaning to her. Mary Lou Henner's most important role was as caregiver for her husband, Michael Brown, after he was diagnosed with lung cancer while already undergoing treatment for bladder cancer. Now she's turned that into an effort to help other caregivers by partnering with Genentech, the maker of the immunotherapy drug Tecentric, and she joins us live now in studio to talk about that. Being a caregiver is no oh. easy role. It seems like you're just <laughs> thrown into it, aren't you? You're thrown into it. You have no idea what's going on, and you're not sure. You know, you want to be like there for the person, and the per mm -hmm. and, and and the patient is riding a roller coaster, mm -hmm. and you have to be on that roller coaster with them, and yet you have to be this steady stream of positive energy. You know, and Michael and I just started mm -hmm. dating each other when he was diagnosed with uh, bladder cancer. We knew each other in college and mm -hmm. reconnected, uh, but we started seeing one another we were madly in love and then he gets diagnosed with bladder cancer and because of the bladder cancer they found stage one lung cancer well it turned out to be stage one so we were very lucky early diagnosis mm -hmm. and everything else but you know that that first six months of our relationship was really really tough and I feel so much for the caregivers that that's why when mm -hmm. I knew that Genentech did all of these different surveys and they found out that 60 percent of men okay. would rather discuss infidelity substance abuse, so many other things, then talk about lung cancer because mm -hmm. there's such a stigma attached all the time, especially from people who have smoked and people feel like, okay, well, that's the way it is. It sure is. I had a friend who recently, his dad passed away from cancer and he just didn't want to talk about it, didn't want to go to the doctor. No. And by that time it was already too I late. I know people are embarrassed and you have to be mm -hmm. able to, as the caregiver especially, you have to be able to, first of all, you're mm -hmm. taking care of the patient, but you've got to take care of mm -hmm. yourself. You know, and you find different ways of, of doing that where you, uh, where you, you know, either dress warm and mm -hmm. use like good workout shoes and <laughs> sort of multitask your health while you're taking them to, uh, you know, their appointments and stuff like that. And take a lot of notes because the, the patient is just, you know, they're like, they're glazed mm -hmm. over and you have to be the one to be able to write everything and down. And it is key. Take care of yourself as well. We seem to forget that being a caregiver right that we need to slow down and maybe go home take a shower rest whatever relax, it is whatever or you find those do. little pockets of like what i call the juice in your day the little things that mm -hmm. that you like to do that make you feel better about yourself you know and just know that if they're emotionally upset mm -hmm. or something it's not you it's that they are facing a lot of changes in their lives and 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 they're really kind of going through a big drama you so know? you're there so. for somebody in a bad situation how do you, or, or what makes a good caregiver? Well, a good caregiver, is, as we're yeah. saying, is somebody who takes care of himself, too, mm -hmm. or herself, too, and, and it has a good listening ear, because that's what you're going to be doing a lot of, and also has a mm -hmm. sense of humor. You've got to be able to have a sense of humor. I mean, Michael and I were on this journey. It's now, he's in remission 14 and a half years. My goodness. And he did a lot of great things. He changed his normal, which is why we wrote a book about mm -hmm. it. But, I, you know, I feel like the caregiver is such an important part that doesn't get a lot of attention. And so, uh, you know, my, my hat's off to everybody. And there's so much great information mm -hmm. at lungcanceralliance.org, mm -hmm. lungcanceralliance.org. And you can find out, like, some of the things. Because I really wanted to partner with people about the caregiver aspect of Yeah, of Awareness is so important. You're a public figure as well. Have you heard from other caregivers and other cancer patients who have said thank you yes yeah. one of the tips that I've given people in, in you know all of this is I dress warm because you <laughs> never know how cold in the hospitals, hospitals right? are freezing mm -hmm. so you have to like layer up and everything people always say oh and you bring all your stuff whether it's your you know an extra charger or whatever it's all, even those little simple things will make you feel better make the patient feel better mm -hmm. and you if, know and be, be a good listener that's really important sure is and if people want to know a little bit more mm -hmm. information is there a place they can go yes they go to lungcanceralliance.org mm -hmm. with a, you know a lot of great information and survey information that is going to be so shocking to you. You're not going to believe mm -hmm. how many people, uh, you know, are more embarrassed about, especially lung sure. cancer. You and know. you never know when you're going to be thrown into that role of caregiver. You know, and not only that, there are a lot of people who have never smoked who get lung cancer. So it's mm -hmm. not just a, a smoking mm -hmm. person's disease. You know, it's like, yeah, very important. Thank you so much, Mary Thank Lou. Thank you so much. All right, for more information about Mary Lou and the Lung Cancer mm -hmm. Alliance, just go to our website, kcal9.com. Click Scene on TV.